Have you ever noticed how time seems to freeze when something suddenly goes wrong? A car skids in front of you, a glass slips from your hand, or a dog lunges out of nowhere, and for a heartbeat, everything feels like slow motion. Your eyes widen, your thoughts stretch out. Every detail, every sound, every movement seems to last forever. But here's the truth. The world isn't slowing down at all. What's really happening is inside your mind. In a split second, your brain flips into survival mode, sharpening focus, boosting awareness, and recording every frame in stunning detail. That flood of information makes each moment feel longer, tricking you into believing time itself has slowed. In this episode, we'll explore how your brain bends time when fear takes over, and why this illusion might actually be what keeps you alive. Sometimes life presents us with a moment of sudden, sharp fear. It can happen in the blink of an eye. A car skids on a wet road. A glass slips from your hand, seeming to hang in the air before it shatters on the floor. In these moments, something strange happens to our perception of time. It feels as if the world has shifted into slow motion. A few seconds can feel like a minute. This is a common human experience. It is not a trick of the imagination. It is a fascinating function of the brain, a survival mechanism designed to help us navigate danger. Imagine you are walking through a quiet park late in the evening. The path is dimly lit by old-fashioned lamps. Suddenly, a large dog barking loudly leaps out from behind a bush. Your heart hammers against your ribs. Your breath catches in your throat. For a split second, you are frozen. You see everything with an almost painful clarity. You notice the way the dog's fur bristles. The individual leaves rustling on the ground nearby. When the dog's owner finally calls it back, the entire event might have lasted only three or four seconds. Yet, when you recall it later, it feels so much longer. It is as if your mind recorded every single frame of the experience. This sensation has puzzled people for centuries. We often hear stories from survivors of accidents, soldiers in battle who describe time stretching out before them. They speak of having enough time to think, to plan and to react, all within a moment that should have been over instantly. This feeling is not a sign that something is wrong. Instead, it is a sign that your brain is working overtime, doing exactly what it evolved to do. It is flooding your system with the resources needed to face a potential threat. The world isn't slowing down for you. Rather, you are speeding up to meet the world. Your brain is giving you a gift, a moment of heightened awareness when you need it most. Science has taken a keen interest in this phenomenon. At the heart of our fear response is a small almond-shaped structure deep within the brain called the amygdala. You can think of the amygdala as the body's smoke detector or its central alarm system. Its primary job is to constantly scan our environment for any signs of danger. When it detects a potential threat, like the sudden appearance of a barking dog, it sounds the alarm immediately. This alarm triggers a cascade of reactions throughout the body and brain. It does this far more quickly than our conscious mind can even register. This is why you often feel the physical jolt of fear before you fully understand it. The amygdala acts first and asks questions later. Once it sounds its alarm, it sends urgent signals to other parts of the brain. One of the first areas to respond is the visual system. Your eyes and the brain areas that process sight become hyper aware. They begin to gather information much faster and more detailed than usual. It's like switching a camera from standard definition to high definition. This heightened visual processing helps you notice many small details during a scary event. The amygdala is telling your visual system, pay attention. Everything you see right now could be important for survival. This is not an illusion. Your brain genuinely takes in more visual data per second than when you are calm. Attention is like a spotlight that our mind can shine on the world. When we are relaxed, this spotlight is often wide and dim. It covers a broad area, allowing us to be aware of many things at once, listening to music, reading a book, and noticing the sound of rain outside. However, when the amygdala signals danger, something dramatic happens. 
the spotlight narrows and intensifies into a focused beam. All your mental energy is directed toward the source of the threat. Everything else fades into background noise. This intense focus is a survival strategy. In peril, your brain decides only the danger matters. Dinner plans fade away, calendar and tomorrow's tasks fade away. Your full cognitive capacity processes the threat. You become exquisitely sensitive to details inside that beam, the subtle shift in a person's expression, the precise angle of a falling object, the exact texture of the ground beneath your feet. The brain soaks up dense information from that small slice of time, making the moment feel richer. Think of it like watching a film, a normal scene, a few cuts, a few seconds. Slow motion action, one event shown from many angles. The action may last a second in real time, but feels much longer. When scared, your brain becomes its own director, creating slow motion. Dedicating attention stretches the experience in perception. The more you notice, the longer it feels. This was tested in labs. David Eagleman had volunteers free fall into a net. He asked them to read numbers on a wrist device during the fall. If time slowed, they'd read the flashing numbers. Interestingly, they could not. The other crucial ingredient in this recipe for slow motion time is memory. Our experience of time is deeply connected to how we remember events. A busy, eventful week will seem longer than a quiet, uneventful one. This is because your memory of that week is filled with more distinct moments or memory flags. A scary event is like a super eventful week compressed into a few seconds. Because of the heightened attention directed by the amygdala, your brain is not just perceiving more details in the moment, it is also encoding them into memory with incredible fidelity. It is building a much denser, richer memory than it normally would. The amygdala does more than just sound the alarm for fear. It also works closely with the hippocampus, the brain region responsible for forming new long-term memories. When the amygdala is highly active, it essentially tells the hippocampus, this is important, remember all of this. This is why memories of frightening events are often so vivid and long-lasting, a phenomenon known as flashbulb memory. You might not remember what you had for breakfast last Tuesday, but you likely remember exactly where you were and what you were doing during a moment of intense shock or fear. Your brain creates a priority file for this information. When the scary event is over and your system begins to calm down, you reflect on what just happened. As you access the memory, your brain unpacks a huge number of details. You remember the sound, the sight, the feeling, all in a rich tapestry of information because there are so many details packed into the memory of such a short event. Your brain concludes that the event must have lasted for a long time. It is a logical inference. More memories must mean more time has passed. The duration you perceive is based on the amount of data you have stored. So, the time-slowing effect is largely a retrospective illusion. It is a trick of memory. During the event itself, you are not thinking, wow, time is moving slowly. The feeling of expanded time comes later, when you are safe and your mind is making sense of the experience. 